Okay, everyone, all together now. We're going to start off. So when we, uh, we're going to say three, two, one, Tetris. At that point, start the game. All right. Okay, three, two, two one, one, Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> all right. And Simon starts off with just a lot of tucks in a row. It's always fun. Yeah, one of the worst uh, P sequences, the Z Z S T S Z or whatever that was. <laughs> and uh, but he handled it really well. Yeah. Now I don't know if you can the street uh, audience at home hear our background music. Let us know. We've got some new uh, background music that's been provided that is just for our tournaments. Simon in a little bit of trouble. He's having some. Oh. oh. And that was it for that one. And game one. Well, oh. it was a valiant effort. Valiant effort. And. I mean, it started off with that mess to begin with. Oh. Yeah, he held strong. He held strong for that first bad piece sequence, but then the next bad piece sequence naturally uh, took him out. So that's the way it goes. And uh, we get our heart over to Nest Card. And uh, now, uh, Simon, it's your turn to pick between 15 and 18. 15. All right, great, Simon picks 15. So all together now, three, two, one, Tetris. I'm starting off with the tuck right out of the gate again for Simon, but he handles it well. I think he likes it. I mean, he's probably really good at folding laundry. Oh, um, sure. Yeah. Boom Tetris for Nest Card. He got his first Boom Tetris. All right. Oh, Simon with a piece that didn't go anywhere. Uh oh. We're in trouble here. Let's get Ouch. that long bar. Let's get okay. that long bar. Well, you guys, it was a valiant effort, but I think that's it for Simon. Let's give him a round of applause. There you go, Simon. The fist bump, the congratula congratulatory fist bump took place. That was great. And we'll go ahead and give the heart. And while we're at it, let's give a Kremlin winner for Nest Card. We'll see him in the semifinals. And we're going to move on to the next round of the bracket. Let's take a look at that real quick. All right. We see uh, Michael advanced. And our next match, if we could bring to the stage the four seed Nada and the fifth seed Jackson, please make your way to the stage. You know, Nada was a fan favorite on on the on the Twitch stream. Yeah, this has been a lot of people looking to see what she can do. This is uh, this is going to be a strong matchup. Uh, looks like oh. Nada had. If we go back to the qualifying scores, uh, Nada came in with a 345 and Jackson with a 228. So quite a smaller gap there in qualifying scores than our last match. So let's see what happens. And uh, we will give you guys a moment. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, oh. and. The Ness Advantage. Yeah, Jackson wants you to know that he is rocking a Ness Advantage. It's super uh, squishy. Oh. A super squishy Ness Advantage. Okay. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, I'm going to change the names. You guys go ahead and get in a few minutes of practice while we change your names and stuff like that. Jackson says he can't T-spin, but he knows what one is, <laughs> so that's a start. So Jackson, what's your personal best? I don't know. I play versus Tetris. He plays what? Uh, what's what? A uh, platform? So any sort of competitive uh, one bad of Tetris, so like throwing garbage balls. Okay, so Jackson's a competitive Tetris uh, versus Tetris specialist, where you throw garbage. So uh, we'll see how that translates to classic. And Nada, do you know your personal best? Oh, congratulations. Wow. So the 345 was not his personal best. Um, so, you know, it's sometimes there's different kinds of players. Some players, the pressure is too much to take and makes them play a little bit worse. And some players, when they're in the spotlight, they really play their best. So, uh, right. you know, maybe, maybe we have a couple of those here the today. The heat is on, your, your tournament mode. All right, we get a different yeah. viewpoint on our on our match. Let's uh, let's get a shot of that Ness advantage if you can hear me in the back. Oh yeah. Now that does have turbo. However, as far as I know, having turbo on the A and B button won't really help you in any S Tetris. I think it's more of a do more harm than good. So uh, <laughs> anyway, we're we're interested to see how the Ness advantage <laughs> plays out. 
and uh, uh, it might it might help you with some hyper tapping. Hyper tapping rotation? No, with the the, the, the stick. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. I feel like I would just break it. It would just <laughs> well, you're get very destroyed. strong. Well, I guess. Oops. Not oh, a, ignore oh, that. She didn't win yet. Um. Uh, the Nintendo Speedboard, you mean like the Roller Rocker? Yeah, I think um, if you wanted to bring that and compete on that, I'm going to say that's okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, why don't you go ahead and uh, in this case, the lower seed is Jackson and the higher seed is Nada. So Nada, you get to choose level 15 or level 18. Okay, so uh, if you guys can get ready and uh, position on level 5 and then wait for that 3 2 one Tetris. There's also a very rare controller called the hands-free controller, which I think would make for a great tournament. <laughs> okay, both players ready? Okay, here we go. Uh, everyone, three, two, one, Tetris! I think we definitely got to allow the speed board. I mean, there's no way around that. A okay, nice burn for Nada. Oh, she got the uh, Tetris for Jackson. Boom, Tetris and for Nada. We're neck and neck right out of the gate. Smart plays there by Nada. Uh, and Tetris for Jackson. Off to a good start. We got nice clean builds on both sides. Now, Jackson being a competitive, or should I say, a versus Tetris player. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe he just likes the idea of, you know, destroying his opponent. Yeah. Oop. Bit of a misdrop, uh, but he's got the. Okay. It gave him what he needed. He just needs a long bar now, and he'll be clean. Oh, nice yeah. adjustment. Oh, 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 oh man, that was tough. He. He didn't want to be dirty. That was tough. He preloaded Das and Nada's out in front by thirteen thousand, so she takes that game. Oh, that was a tough break for Jackson. So you can stop. Yes. Okay. Let's give her. A, let's give her a spaceship here. Maybe just save that for the end of the match. I don't know. Okay. All right. So, if uh, in this case Jackson gets to choose this, the 15 or 18. Uh, 15. Okay, they're going to do 15 again. Uh, if you're both ready. Yep. All right. Uh, three, two, one. Tetris. Whoop whoop. And yeah, Jackson had a great start to that last game, and he just had a little bit of misfortune. Mm -hmm. he, he, he was aiming to put the piece in the exact right spot, but it just, that DAS preload will get you. Oh man, I wonder if it's anything to do with his NAS advantage. I mean. Okay, not a, passes up the opportunity to burn the triple there, but then she takes it, smart burn. She's dealing with a little bit of a long bar drought. Oh. We got Jackson getting pieces he needs right now to get clean. Is that kind of a mm, aggressive little play. well there? Aggressive play. He, he's he vocalizing can't. his own greed right now. Uh, but, oh, smart burn. He's still in this. Still alive. Just got to stay alive and get points. But while he's in survival mode, Nada is clean and ready for a Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Nada. And it doesn't look like Jackson's going to get out of there. Uh, He's down by 8,000, and Nada takes the match. Great job. Let's give Nada a round of applause. She's our winner. We'll see her in the top four. And thanks for coming out. It was a good first. It was a first at Ness Advantage in competition that I'm aware of, so that, no was, that was great. <laughs> There's no advantage, he says, as he walks Appar off. Apparently not an advantage. Okay, let's go back to our bracket, and uh, we'll get an update on that. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Just a reminder, we're here at the Gaming Stadium in Vancouver. It's an awesome eSports facility. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It's got, you know, 50 LAN stations in the other room. Here on the stage, we've got room for 12 stations. They do Dota, League of Legends. They do Fortnite, uh, Fortnite of course. And, I mean, every day they've got games mm -hmm. here so uh, to watch, to play. It's a great uh, place. So if you're in the Vancouver area, be sure to come check them out. Mm -hmm. Uh, and let's go back to that bracket. Back to the bracket. 
Okay, as we see, not advanced. And next up, we have the number three seed, Addison, versus the number six seed, Melissa. Please come to the stage. Yeah, we got gaming chairs here, too. Everyone's got a gaming chair, even the commentators, so that's uh -huh. great. You can roll. All right, and our, our competitors have made their way to the stage. Uh, Ness Cardinelli will be back shortly. Uh, he's our number one seed. And he took his first match, so we'll see him in the top four. Against Nada. Against Nada, yeah. Who's a fan favorite? Oh, wait, is that true? That is true. Did I get that right? Let me you look at it. You got it right. Yeah, 1 8 plays 4 5. And Adam, you're not often wrong, so. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. So we got our new names in there? Yeah, so. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we're going to let the, the new match uh, warm up for one or two minutes while we enter your names. So here on the left, we have uh, Melissa. Did I get that right, Melissa? And Addison. All right. Yeah, the stadium is incredible, Adam. We definitely gotta consider having more events here. Yeah, well, you know. Hopefully, Gaming Stadium becomes like a, a franchise in every city. Yeah, that would be great. The future's here. Um, we even have gaming desks. Oh, no, I mean, uh, earlier. Yeah, there's no, no gaming bookshelves that I've seen, but they do have kombucha. So, I don't know if that helps. Or is a nice compromise. Okay, going back to the bracket. Uh, yeah, so Addison at the three seed. Well, let's check out their qualifying scores. So Addison came in with a <laughs> 418, and Melissa with a 222. So uh, should be a good match. And back to the bracket. Did I get this all right? Okay, so <laughs> Addison, uh, can you share with us your personal best? Do you have to remember? So Addison's sitting around a 500 with that PB. And uh, how about you, Melissa? Do you know your... So, so Melissa mainly just plays Tetris online. She doesn't have any SPB, but you know, for someone that doesn't really track their NES scores, 222 is a really great score. So yeah, I mean, if you're a Tetris 99 player, you got the competitiveness in you. So she's good to go. Uh, okay, so I think we'll go ahead and get you guys started oh. as the higher seed, Addison. Would you rather play on 15 or 18? Okay, 15 it is, so when you guys are both ready, let me know and we'll get started. Okay, ready to go. Okay, everyone, three, two, one, Tetris. So yes, this is a qualifier for Portland where the winner is going to get a travel stipend. That's right. Mm -hmm. The grand prize is a travel stipend that should be more than enough to get you uh, your transportation and lodging to Portland, Oregon. From Vancouver, it is a six hour drive. However, if you account for Seattle traffic and making it across the border, that could inflate to nine hours like it did for us. Oh but, man, yeah. But you know, it, it is what it is. Well, we chose to do that. We chose to leave it the time to meet all the traffic, fun spots, you know. <laughs> All right, we got a, a it was a Tetris for Melissa, but a little bit of cleanup here. And Addison has a dirty center well. Boom, Tetris for Addison. Nice. He's going for another one here, and he's going to get it. And he's clean. Oh, I'm looking at the string. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Melissa's got a little too much garbage. I don't think she's going to do it. And that's oh, that's, uh, that's a wrap for Melissa on game one. And Addison, with a 23,000-point advantage, is going to take that. So game one to Addison. 
And now, uh, Melissa, do you prefer 15 or 18? Okay, another, it's all 15 today so far, guys. So uh, let me know when you're ready and we'll get started on game two. So that was game one to Addison. All right, and everyone, three, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. Now lots of, that left station keeps getting lots of uh, Z's and S's at the beginning. Yeah, just to start, yeah. Just you know, push it left and hope to get something to tuck immediately. Uh, otherwise, like Melissa did, she didn't have anything to put in there, so. All right, nice clean build for Addison. He's ready for a Tetris. And looks like we got a dirty Tetris on deck for there. Melissa. Right. Nice. That's the way to do it. <laughs> just Tetris all the time. And boom, Tetris for Addison. So we're neck and neck, and he's just piling them on. Tetris, two in a row. And a nice Tetris rate of 66%. Yeah, he's on max up pace, and it's extremely early. But you never know. It's always nice to PB in competition. I don't know if anyone's ever done that. I kind of doubt it. Like in a match? Right. Ooh. Ooh. That one sailed on Melissa a bit and blocked her left side, and that's going to be a wrap. Addison's up by 36,000. He takes the match, and he gets a Kremlin. He gets a Kremlin, but it's not even a Kremlin, is it? Oh, right. It's the. Um, oh. It's actually a St. Peter's Cathedral, but whatever. Yeah, who cares? All right, congratulations to Addison. He took that match, and moving through the bracket... We're going down to, it looks like, if we could bring up to the stage the number the number two seed, Connor, versus the number seven seed, Solomon. Come on up. I'm digging this music, man. Yeah, pretty sweet music. I think we were all triple flippers at one point, you know, and you just kind of, you just got to commit to doing the non-triple flip at some point. It takes you like a year or a month or two to actually remember that that's how you play now. A year? Yeah, it probably, year. Took, it probably took me like three years. Switch from, <laughs> switch <laughs> yeah. from triple tapping to using Pro both buttons? Probably, maybe like five. Yeah. It was, it was an epic. Well, no, I'm just well once you made the, <laughs> the decision to do that. Okay, we're going to let Solomon and Connor, uh, practice for a while feel free to do some warm-up mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be getting started here in one or two minutes and this will be the end of the top eight this is the last match of the top eight and we'll move on to the semifinals so so far we've seen you know some players get off some good starts and uh, you know but you see a couple missed drops you, uh, in the case of our last player Melissa piece kind of sailed on her uh, you know, moved the piece one too far to the left and just blocked her entire left side, and that was the end of it. You know, so it's just, yeah. it's still a good reminder that classic Tetris is sort of a sudden death, one mistake and you're out affair, you know? I mean, yeah, when you're in that situation, you're kind of just shocked that that happened, and it just kind of. It cascades. It takes you a minute to, or not a minute, but a second to just kind of rethink what's going on. Yeah, the piece ends you didn't up, expect you, it. Well, you, you. You misdrop, and now the situation you were anticipating is a completely different situation, mm -hmm. and that's something that takes a lot of experience to deal with. Um, and, and in the case of the last game, it was just a really fatal misdrop. So, uh, you know, not not really that out of the ordinary. I know when I've done the few times I was in the bracket in Portland, uh, you know, I've died instantly a few times. Mm -hmm. It's pretty common. As you see, Connor's got some 19 skill. We've seen him do a lot of. Uh, Neat flips, a lot of like green tea inspired flips by Connor. I like yeah, he's that. He's got some yeah, pole vaults going on. Okay, so Connor, as the top seed, do you choose 15 or 18? Let's go 18. 18 it is. All right, well, guys, let's uh, go ahead and get ready. Uh, we got our first 18 choice. Yeah, I think the first people to pick 18. So uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, everyone, we're going to do uh, starting on level 18 Solomon versus Connor. Three, two, one, Tetris. Tetris.
Solomon with a nice clean build. Uh oh, we got a bit of an overhang there. Boom, Tetris Ooh. for Connor. Now, yeah, Solomon had some tuck possibilities, but now he's just gonna, he had to make a roof that he has to burn mm -hmm. off now to get to that gap down there. Burning down the roof, you know. And uh, that's a lot of digging, Ooh. and he's blocked the left side. It doesn't look like he's gonna make his way out of that one. Oof, all right, well, 43,000 point advantage for Connor. He takes game one. And... All right, and so Solomon, it's your... Uh, chance to choose level 15 or level 18. All right, it'll be 15. Good luck. And if we're both ready, we'll go ahead and count you down. Three, two, one, Tetris. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Ooh, missed tuck there. It's all right. Some nice burning, some nice uh, anticipating a burn there for Connor. That worked out well. Connor set up for Tetris, but he gets a misdrop there. Tetris for Connor, and uh, Solomon has, you know, a really cleanable situation here. He should be able to make his way out of. Yeah. A bit of an awkward piece there. He's just relying on that one. Oh no. Oops. Oh. Ooh. All right. Well. Solomon, we appreciate you coming out, and Connor's going to take that one. What's up, Solomon? And we will go ahead and give Connor his heart. All right, you guys, that was the end of our top eight. We're going to move on to our semifinals. We're going to update the bracket. Let's take a look. Okay. As you can see, this is our semifinal on the one side. Michael versus Nada. On the other, Addison versus Connor. Who will make it to the final? 